Welcome to the third video in the three-part series exploring R series FIPS. To recap, in the first video, we introduced the R series FIPS appliances and the F5OSA platform layer software that runs on the R series appliances. We then created FIPS partitions on the R series FIPS appliance. In the second video, we deployed a big IP tenant and assigned the FIPS partitions that we created in the first video to the tenant and used the key migration utilities to migrate FIPS card configuration data and FIPS keys from an i-series FIPS appliance to the big IP tenant running on R-series FIPS. In today's video, we'll use journeys to migrate big IP configuration from the i-series FIPS appliance to the big IP tenant running on R-series FIPS. So let's jump right to it. The F5 journeys migration utility is a complementary tool designed to assist big IP customers with migrating applications and their configurations from one big IP TMOS instance to another. Journeys helps partially automate this process by modifying and upgrading big IP TMOS configurations from an existing device to be compatible with software running on a target instance. This significantly reduces time and manual effort required to migrate workloads. Journeys is available for download and install at the F5 Dev Central GitHub repository. For today's demo, I have already gone ahead and installed Journeys. And as you can see, I have Journeys uh, opened up and ready to go. Journeys offers two options. The first is to do a full UCS uh, migration. The second is the ability to do a per app migration. For today's demo, we'll use the uh, full migration option. We'll start now. Also, before beginning uh, the migration process, ensure that you're following the uh, prerequisite steps to ensure that the um, master key um, is uh, the same on both the uh, source and destination system. You can follow steps on here to ensure that um, you're rekeying the destination uh, system. For today's demo, I've already gone ahead and uh, done that. Uh, also, you'll want to ensure that um, the VLANs and interfaces are appropriately configured at the F5 OS layer and then assigned to the uh, uh, tenant that's running on the R series system. Um, let's hit acknowledge. Let's call this FIPS config migration. Hit next. We'll do a live configuration. Let's input the management IP address of our I series FIPS appliance. Discover. Discovery process is successful. Let's load the config. Hit next. Want to choose the destination uh, device, which in our case is the IP address of the um, tenant that's running on the R series FIPS appliance. Go ahead and provide. Okay. Let's, see. Let's hit next. As you can see, uh, there is a unresolved uh, issue of uh, DHCP not supported. Let's go ahead and resolve this issue. Let's resolve this. Hit next. You have the option to run a config verification. So let's run the config verification. Uh, you're prompted to 
enter the uh, credentials for the destination device let's go ahead and do that discover okay again journeys um, attempts to verify that the configuration can be applied on the destination big ip and this can take a few minutes as you can see now that the uh, journey summary report has complete you can choose to uh, generate deployment files if you choose to do so but in our case we're going to go ahead and uh, deploy let's go ahead and deploy confirm the uh, ucs has been successfully deployed on the r series tenant and the diagnostics was successful let's now log into the ui of the R tenant running on the r series fips appliance to ensure that the http applications with the fips keys have been successfully migrated the virtual that was hosting the https application has successfully migrated with both the client and server ssl profiles um, you'll also note that now the FIPS keys are available for data processing. This concludes the last step. So we've successfully used journeys to migrate Big IP configuration from an i-series FIPS appliance to a tenant running on the R-series FIPS appliance. It is important to note that if you're attempting to do a FIPS and Big IP backup and restore on an HA pair, you'll need to explicitly backup and restore FIPS partition on both tenants that form the HA pair to a UCS restore using journeys on one tenant and then add both tenants to a config sync cluster. So let's recap. Today, we were able to introduce the R series FIPS appliance and the F5 OS A platform layer software that runs on the R series appliances. We were then able to do a hands on demo setting up FIPS partitions on a R series appliance. We then deployed a big IP tenant and were able to assign a FIPS partition to it. We then demoed being able to do a backup and restore of FIPS card configuration and FIPS keys from an i-series FIPS appliance to a tenant running on the r-series FIPS. Finally, we use journeys to migrate big IP configuration from an i-series FIPS appliance to a tenant running on the r-series FIPS appliance. Thank you for watching.